Tyler Vasquez. I'm the Seattle Policy and Advocacy Manager at Cascade Bicycle Club. Um, we're stoked to have you all here uh, to memorialize Steve Holzman. Uh, we have the Holzman family uh, here. And so just wanted to thank you all. Our community is really strong. The bike community is really strong. And we just want to make sure that uh, Steve's life is memorialized and we have a great ride uh, to make sure that uh, we could all come together as one. Uh, I'm going to pass it off to Lee Lambert now. Hopefully you use your executive director voice uh, and then we go from there. All right. uh, hello everyone, I don't have as good, good voice as Tyler here, but Lee Lambert, executive director of Cascade Bicycle Club. Uh, I've been in the position three years and you know, uh, we're going to ride today, but it is sad why we're here. Riding your bike should be safe, everyone should be able to get home. I never had a chance to meet Steve, but I had a chance to talk a lot with Rita over the past few months. and. Um, her, her, her dedication and, and um, uh, to her husband and to making sure that uh, the, our roads are safer and uh, crashes that happen to him don't happen in the future is uh, to be commended. I, I, I don't know if I could be as strong as you, Rita. Thank, thank, thank you. Um, uh, at, at Cascade, um, we are um, we're, we're here to make biking safe and fun. And, and, and fun. Uh, uh, Tyler and his colleagues work every day. Uh, with, we have some friends from the city here. Uh, and, and the region to make sure that our roads are safe for all users, whether you're the 7,000 foot climber and 49 mile folks, or you're my 13, 13 year old daughter going to school. Um, so really wanna uh, take time to reflect today, uh, we'll go out, have fun, uh, and, but be safe and, uh, and, uh, uh, and honor Steve's memory. Uh, with that, I'll pass it back. Thank you. Yeah, Dave. Yep. Hi everybody, my name's David Longdon. I'm with High Performance Cycling, which is part of the Cascade Bicycle Club. Um, we are really thankful of the turnout. It's uh, amazing to see what uh, an effect Steve had on the local cycling community and beyond. Um, please ride safe today. If you want to ride fast, some of our HPC guys will be riding on the, doing the longer route. Um, and I know that Steve would just love to know how many people were here uh, in his honor. So have fun. Thank you. And next I'm gonna pass it off to Council Member Saka. All right, well, good morning, everyone. Rob Saka, Council Member, your Council Member, and I'm your Council Member, whether or not you're my direct constituent, neighbor in South Park, Pioneer Square, Soto, Georgetown, or right here in West Seattle, I'm your uh, representative in City Hall, if you have an interest in the policy work that I do, whether it's keeping our roads and community safe, as we heard too, as we heard a moment ago, and I'm so, so honored to be here today. Thank you so much, Cascade Bicycle Club, uh, Tyler, Lee, and of course, last but not least, Rita Holzman herself. Everyone give her a round of applause. We're gonna hear from, we're gonna hear from Rita in just a moment. But uh, they asked me to come say a few words, so I'll try to be brief. Uh, for a politician, I guess, like myself, that's a, that's a, that's a tall order. But uh, I first had the, the pleasure, so my commitment is to make sure we have safe streets and roads for all. And we have a unique opportunity to do that. We've already put ourselves on good footing and good position to do that. On a, uh, we've made some good progress. Much more work needs to be done to make sure that we eliminate and obviate the need for being here today. Rita deserves better. The family of Steve deserves better. You all deserve better. I first learned and became intimately aware of the need to make sure we have safe streets for all uh, on my journey to be your elected representative in City Hall when I knocked on 16,000 doors in the campaign trail. Doing that, I witnessed the the uh, striking dearth of sidewalk infrastructure in our city. We talk about protecting vulnerable users, pedestrians are, and cyclists are some of the most uh, at opportunity users. And that gave me an insight, inside glimpse of the opportunity we have. And during that time is when I also stumbled upon and met Rita for the first time. It, door knocking here in West Seattle. Unfortunately, Steve wasn't home at the time or around available, I would have loved the opportunity to meet him. And probably he was biking. Yeah, yeah, probably biking. And then fast forward to a few months later as transportation chair 
we begin considering the levy that is now going to be before voters here in a few few months two months to be exact and that's when i first had the privilege of reintroducing being reintroduced to rita because rita right here showed up at every single transportation committee uh meeting where we discussed and considered the levy her voice was well represented testifying holding me and my city council colleagues accountable to make sure that we have proper investments in baked into the transportation levy to do more to protect the most vulnerable us users and my commitment is to all users and i want to thank rita for her leadership her passion and making sure that the voice of your family is represented in this transportation levy. At the city level, we're doing two things. One is directly levy related. If that passes, guess what? There's going to be a protected infrastructure named specifically after Steve Holzman. We're proud of that. We're proud of that. Irrespective of uh, what happens with that levy, we're also going to have an honorary street name. In, in, Steve's, in Steve's name. Doing initial work on that right now. But thank you all for being here. Thank you, Rita, for your leadership and making sure that Steve's legacy lives on. Right here is a, is a lasting reflection of that. I'm amazed to see the crowd here. And I look forward to riding with a few of you all. Thank you. pass it off to Rita for some words. In addition to that, uh, we're going to have a little toast, so get your water bottles too um, and everything. So, uh, Thank you all for being here this morning. I, You would think after decades as a junior high teacher, I would be used to extemporizing, but in front of adults, it just doesn't go as smooth. So I'm going to be reading here. Please know that this is, this is the better way for me. I just, I just really want to tell you how touched I am by your presence here today. Steve would be so honored to see you here today to remember him. He was so skilled and passionate about bicycling, and I've heard from so many of you who used to cycle with him about how he was helpful and encouraging to others who found the very, very, very hilly routes that he, he rode to be maybe a little bit more than some people had bargained for. He was there to help people and encourage people along the way. So thank you for those kind, kind words about him. Um, it, meant, it meant more than I can tell you in the months that have passed since his untimely death. Earlier this year, as Council Member Saka said, I became involved in advocating for safety improvements for bicyclists, for pedestrians, and for other vulnerable users of our city streets. Um, and I did that by speaking up at city, Seattle City Council Transportation Committee meetings. I am pleased that the full council passed a great transportation levy proposal that will come before those of us who live in Seattle this November. If you live in Seattle, I strongly encourage you to vote yes on the 2024 transportation levy. Again, thank you all for being here today to remember and honor Steve. And thanks so much to Cascade Bicycle Club for sponsoring and organizing this ride. I hope all of you enjoy your chosen route today.